We got a few packs ready to be opened. Hopefully, we get enough fodder to do the party bag for the second time. Already done it once. We're gonna see both of them today. And after that, it's really time to upgrade the team based on the players we're getting. Because we've been slacking with upgrading the team. And we need to get a good result in champs this weekend. And we're first going to the packs. But later in the video, I will also show the sold items. What we invested in and stuff like that. But let's open some packs and hopefully pack a banger. And we also got some 10 coin packs. So let's start with those. Can we get something good from it? And even if we don't, even if we get a pack like this, it sucks, but it's 10 coins. Again, nothing, but at least it's three more plays for 10 coins because EA loves to do multiple SBCs for one SBC more than ever before because we do have the dupe storage. So we don't have as many plays as we used to. But time for the packs. There are a lot of small packs as well, but there's still a potential of getting something good. And like I said, we have some bigger packs as well. I accidentally opened a 25K pack already, but it got absolutely nothing. I think the luck gotta come from the party bags but i'm totally fine with that by the way this looks like a horrible pack right but always check the libertadores players because a lot of them are up in price and this one as well two thousand coins that's probably the best player so far we got but yeah check your club check the packs that you open they are up in price a lot because of the league sbcs can make you some good coins we got another libertadores player is he up as well Oh, yes, he is. Another 3,000 coins. Yeah, your club might be full of coins, guys. Check it out. What I really hate, by the way, is that you cannot see the amount of packs I have left. Otherwise, at the start of the video, you see how many packs I start with and what pack this is. I have no idea how many packs we've opened already, but I think it's at least like 15. And we did not get a walkout yet. But for you guys, it looks like, oh, you opened like two, three packs. And there's no guidance in it, if that makes any sense. But in the end, it doesn't really matter what pack it is, as long as we pack something good. But it doesn't seem to be that way yet silver players so far have been our best players i'm honestly not sure if we're gonna get a walkout because we're almost through the packs and we have got absolutely nothing 83 the highest rated we got let's go <laughs> three packs left then we gotta make the second party back and open them in a row all right first open one wait oh i didn't see if it was a walkout or not so i was like wait hello but i think i'm first gonna open the first party back because we might need that fodder if it's really bad for the next one Nope, we got zero walkouts from all the packs. It's even an 83. The two party bags have to save us. We don't have enough fodder for an icon pack. I would love to do that. But Henri can't be inside. Plus, we don't want to spend coins on it since we're working our way to Henri. So we got to do it with a party bag. We'll do it twice. And next episode, we'll do another one. Can we get something good, EA? It is a total rush player. Who is this? French. Center mid. Who are you? I don't remember the players in here, but it doesn't look too good. Dumbbell. You know, we already have so many Spanish... Spanish? French midfielders. I will show you in a second when we show the team. But we don't really need him. He's also super cheap, so this is great. Because if we look at the team we currently have, we have a Sissoko. We have a Turam. We have a Pan. Like, there's no need for another French midfielder. But time to do the other party back because this team needs to be upgraded. And hopefully that one will help us. And you know what? We're gonna trade in Kovacic because we need a team of the week. We don't have another untradeable one. And we really wanna work towards Henri. So even like 10, 20,000 coins are gonna be in important for us he was pretty good for us though can't complain about him at all if you need a cheap midfielder he is pretty good okay there we go it can't really get worse than the one we had before but can it be something big it's another total rush player it's a woman left wing dutch that's lika martens you know what I'm not too mad about that. Is she gonna fit any of the teams? She played for Barcelona, so we could put her in a Barcelona team. We could officially play with her. She's usually pretty good in game as well, and she's around 75,000 coins. You know what? That was actually a W. But yeah, let me quickly show you all the things we sold already, where our coins went, and then we gotta find a way to improve the team to have a good team for Fat Chance, because last week was a disaster. But yeah, we sold like pretty much every tradable thing in the club, or at least like something of value and all the dupes. So we we are getting some coins for it but we've also started the investment of the silver players that i told you in the last episode that i have a separate video about i will link it again at the end of this video if you are interested in that but because of that we had some dupes that we already sold for profit so while investing in the players we also made some profit on the side and as you can see there were quite a few of them and also when you open bronze packs make sure you check the stadiums because some of them are worth a little bit and then some players of them were worth something as well they were also the second league of england went for 5k 
day because there were foundation objectives for it and also because of Sisoko who is like a beast of a player they went to 5,000 coins I'm not really sure what their current price is let me quickly check for you there's still 5,000 coins so if you have them in your club sell them easy coins like 5,000 coins a pop so if you have multiple of them you're rich out of nowhere but yeah we sadly only had one and besides that the bronze players that we got from bronze packs we sold as well the managers of course sell for a lot as well and then the dupes we have been selling as well and we're just lazy listing the rest of this here like see if they sell yes or no once you run out of space obviously you want to quick sell it but that's pretty much where we're at and if we then look at the silver players in the club and we go value high low we went with silver commons so far so we still have a few silver rares as well but here you can see all the silver commons we have and we have a lot of pages already and it only took me maybe 20 minutes in total i haven't had too much time to like spend like 300k on them but every day i do a little bit and as you can see we have a lot of them already And as you can see, we have 49 pages of silver players. They're all tradable. All the untradable ones have been traded in already. So if we want to have coins and we could sell them all right now, which we can, they would all sell for 250 coins. We would make ourselves 120,000 coins. So it's just like a saving account almost. And we're just waiting for the right moment, the right SPCs. That some of them go up a lot and then we can make way more than that. And I'm going to continue doing this. And then at some point, once we're getting closer to Henri, we can always decide to sell everything we have in the club. And then then we get always a guaranteed like few hundred thousand coins extra for me it makes just the grind more easy and more fun and along the way we can make a lot of profit but if we look at the gold tradable players we only have bastoni who's worth anything besides that i sold everything bastoni is a beast and he fits perfectly in the team but if we ever need to sell him he is around fifteen thousand coins but it's time to check what i can do with this team it is a pretty decent team but i kind of want to get trend out Udogi maybe needs to be an upgrade as well james is getting a little bit outdated and i'm not gonna lie rui costa i'm not the biggest fan of but yeah let's see what i can do even if i have to spend a little bit of coins i don't mind too much we just need to make sure we can get coins from champs so we need a good team okay guys i made a team not too many changes but one very big change first of all Chiesa and scott are gonna be in the team Chiesa played for juventus so that's an addition that we can buy scott played for arsenal a long time she might be better than trent trent wasn't too bad for me but the 11 pace boost might do something but the big upgrade is bad comp Henri said that's the best player he ever played with. So what better player to buy than Bergkamp himself? Was it worth 400,000 coins? We do have a Rui Costa. So in terms of that, maybe not. But it helps the chemistry a lot. It is Bergkamp. We will first try him as a cam. But if that doesn't work out too much, maybe we switch formation and go to a two-strike formation. Because he has advanced forward plus plus. But I think on cam, he's going to be really good for us. And honestly, it looks like a very solid team. Maybe only the left back and right back are the bad points, maybe. Maybe. We gotta see how Scott is. We can always put Trent there. Otherwise, we gotta find someone else. But with this team, we should do well. Another reason why I spent 400,000 coins on a player is because I somewhat sniped him. He's currently like 410,000 coins. I bought him for 400. But if you look at the graph on Fudbin, he has never been this low and he rebounded before. So who knows? Maybe he rebounds again. And I'm actually excited to play with him. The only reason why I didn't buy Chiesa yet is because I'm gonna play later tonight or tomorrow. And it's now early afternoon. So he still has time to drop in price while I thought that Bergkamp was a solid price to buy now. So once I'm gonna start playing, I'm gonna buy Chiesa. This is gonna be the team. I'm actually excited to try out this team and to play champs because I feel like I improved a lot in the past week. So next episode, you're gonna see gameplay of FUD champs and the rewards and hopefully both of them are gonna be good. But of course, if you have any suggestions on the team, on subs, on formation, whatever, please let me know in the comments. I'm trying to do the best I can but your guys' help is always needed. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully see you in the next one thanks for coming man really appreciate it